will be extremely competitive in this as well. And he's already qualified for Tokyo in the all around. Ivan Tikhanov, well, he's been really busy. He qualified fifth for the parallel bars. He was in the vault earlier today when he took the bronze medal. So he has already been on that podium. And he finished fifth in the rings yesterday. So a few things to look out for as they warm up in the parallel bars. I know a lot of you that watch this will be experts anyway, so you won't need me to tell you a lot of this. But for those that might be fairly new to watching artistic gymnastics or need a few reminders if you haven't watched it for a little while, there'll be plenty of swing and flight elements. The judges, they start judging as soon as the feet leave the ground. Handstands, unlike a lot of the other apparatus, they don't need to be held. But it needs to look as though it is controlled um, if you are doing the handstand, but no, no holds, not necessary. The basic uh, strength and grip is very important in the parallel bars. And uh, sometimes the athletes use sugar and honey to help with that grip. You'll see underbar and overbar skills both help with the overall construction of the routine. It's a very, very technical apparatus. And one thing you must make sure that you do have is good elevation of those hips. Very important to keep the body line. And obviously, mustn't hit the floor but more important than probably anything is to keep the momentum if you lose the momentum it is so so difficult to get it back lots of strapping to Support the wrists. Ladies and gentlemen, the warm up is over. So that was a short warm up, and we will be starting with Marco Saragio from Italy, qualified in eighth place. took the bronze in the rings on Saturday, so he certainly has that all-important upper body strength. So, the start of the men's parallel bars at these World Challenge Cup in Varna. Marco Saragherio from Italy. Lovely straight line on the handstands. Very, very solid. Slightly lent over to one side, but managed to get it back. Nice hold there. And a great start from him. 13.750 was what he scored in the qualifying. 
He really has got a lot of that upper body strength that I talked about. Good lower bar work. And keeping those arms straight. That's a necessity. You can't do this strength work if those arms are bent. And that was a really nice hold. Lovely double pike. Little step at the end, but nothing too major. A great start from him. He will have set the standard. So that's 13.750 in qualifying. Qualified in eighth place. The standard is very high here at this World Challenge Club and very close. So Ilya Kovtun next to go. Took gold in the pommel horse yesterday. Also competed in the floor yesterday, so he's certainly been really busy. But for me, he's been one of the highlights watching this incredibly talented athlete and only 17 years of age. Qualified first in the parallel bars. Had the most difficult routine at 6.7. Very steady. Real good control. Now just on the one bar, showing real strength there. <laughs> Certainly going for the more difficult routine. Brilliant use of the bars. So much technical difficulty. Brilliant. Scored 14.850 and qualified in first place. But it was really good to hear the reaction of the people watching as well, really appreciating this amazing young gymnast. I really like the composition, the way the program was put together. And he looked in complete control all the time, made it look so easy, really kept his body line. And certainly the difficulty was there. And he kept that momentum. Beautiful pike. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Uzbekistan, Raslun Abdurahimo. So 13.850 for the Italian. Just slightly more than he got in the qualifiers. Next we have a chance to see Razuljon Abdurakimov. From Uzbekistan, qualified fourth. Good to see him making the finals here at this World Challenge Cup. Just a slight adjustment there. All counts for the execution. A very small deduction for that, just point one. Nice change of direction.
Showing good control. Oh, that's a shame. Right at the very end. I always feel for the gymnast. After a good program, perhaps not the most difficult. But uh, he certainly scored well with it in the qualifiers, 14.200. Might have made some slight adjustments to the program. They can do that. Lovely. Good lower bar work. They often, he doesn't have to, but they often do wear bandages at the top of their arms as well to protect them just in case they hit the bar badly. But uh, nope, the only thing he hit was the floor there, unfortunately. 15.10. Absolutely amazing from Ilya Kovton. Well, that really has set the standard. He qualified with 14.850, so he has really raised the bar. 15.100. What a sensational gymnast he is. So the last of the first four, Jordan Alexandrov from Bulgaria, 25 years of age. He's a full-time athlete. When he's not training, though, he's studied media. His dad was the national Bulgarian gymnastics coach. Well, he was in the team, actually, but he now coaches. And his mum was a former and gymnast and coach as well. So it's uh, pretty clear as to why he became a gymnast. So Jordan Alexandrov from Bulgaria, the 25-year-old, takes center stage. Lovely control. Just very, very slight adjustments. And slightly bent his legs a bit too much there. Nice. And again, it's just a very slight over arch. That's good. Holds it really nicely when he needs to. And can you imagine if he was in front of a home crowd, if, the, if it was packed full of people, the atmosphere would have been incredible for him. So really good to see him getting so much support here from his uh, fellow athletes and support teams. And, and great that he qualified for this final today. As we now move to the warm-up for the next four athletes. Look at how straight those arms need to be. The strength that is needed on the parallel bars. And I really like the way they held those handstands, keeping that alignment and chooses the pike as the dismount. 13.750. That's the score for Razuljan. 
that puts him in third place at the moment, but still absolutely firmly in the lead. And that's going to be so, so difficult to for anybody to get more than that. Ilya Kuvtun, 15.100. He raised the game from his score in the qualifying. And it really was quite remarkable and amazing to watch. So the four that we have left. Thirteen point eight zero for Jordan Alexandrov. That's exactly the same as he got in the qualifiers. So he looked pleased with that. So the four remaining, Robert Jorgel from Lithuania, he qualified in second place. Ivan Tikhanov from Azerbaijan. Laurent de Mrink from Netherlands. And Sergei Eltkov from Russia, who qualified in third place. He will be the last to compete in these parallel bars. Three of the gymnasts in the parallel bars will be competing later as well in the high bar. So they've got a very busy day. I do like to see how much camaraderie there is between all of these gymnasts. Um, I was talking about it yesterday, but it really is special. If you're on sort of a, a sporting circuit, which these guys haven't been on for quite a long time, so to be back in that sporting circuit, it almost becomes your family to a certain extent. You see the same people and compete against the same people at so many different tournaments, and it makes it really, really special. And I really get the feeling in artistic gymnastics that they look out for each other and very much encourage each other as well. Friendly rivalry at its best, and really that is how it should be. So we can start again with the second part of the parallel bars at this World Challenge Cup. And we'll be starting with Robert Jurogal from Lithuania, qualified second. He has already qualified in the all around for Tokyo. Took bronze in this exercise back at the European Championships in 2020. Very controlled. Moving right to the end of the bar. Good transitions. Very nice. I'm sure he must be delighted with that performance. Seemed to all go to plan. Very experienced. He'll be back later on in the high bar as well. 
And he really is a specialist in that, having taken gold at the European Games. That was in 2019. And also in the European Championships in 2020, when he took the bronze in the parallel bar. His aim was to compete in the Olympic Games for the second time, and he has qualified, so well done to him. And here's another one that lists Oleg Verniev as his hero. So many of these gymnasts do. Qualified in second place. 14.450. As we await... Ivan Tikhanov, Azerbaijan. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Azerbaijan, Ivan Tikhanov. So, Ivan Tikhanov, again, really good upper body strength, finished fifth in the rings yesterday. Looked a little bit out of control there, but managed to get it back. Really straight body alignment from the head right the way through to the toes. Good execution from him. If you were watching earlier, you will have seen him take a bronze in the vault. So already a successful day for him. Although he might have been well, slightly disappointed having qualified in first place, but always good to be up there on the podium. His score was 14.0 to qualify fifth in this event. And he's 25 years of age. He's been doing gymnastics for a long, long time, seeing as he started when he was just six. Fourteen point three five zero. Fantastic score there from Rob Robert Tvogo from Lithuania. Slightly less than he scored in the qualifying, but very, very similar, putting him in second place at the moment. Again, looked a little bit out of control as he hit the bar there. But really nice and steady, hips nice and high there. Really like that. Whoops. Just couldn't control it. Too much arch in that handstand and uh, very, very difficult to get it back again then. That's a shame. But he's quickly back on it again. Just a little bit of arch there, but pulled it back into good alignment. Good composition. A 
and choosing the tuck for the dismount. 13.9 was what he sco scored to qualify in a sixth place. That was really good alignment there, as I say, right from the toes to the head. Legs nice and extended. Really good height above the bar there. And I like the underbar work here. Good variation. Looks very powerful, very strong. Finished 48th in the parallel bars back at the European Championships earlier this year. So he's done exceptionally well to qualify for these finals. And very, very well done to him. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Russia, Sergei Elsov. 14.050. Ivan Tikhanov. As we move to the last competitor in this parallel bars final, Sergei Eltkov, just getting the bars ready. The 24 year old from Russia. Putting this strapping high up on the arms, that extra bit of protection I was talking about earlier. Chalking the hands up. Nice. Good transfer from the two bars to one. Really nicely controlled. And appreciated by those watching. Good. Yeah, brilliant. Really good performance from Sergei Eltkov. He scored a 14.40 in the qualifiers. Really good alignment. Lovely somersault. Qualified in third place. Good difficulty there. He's very solid holding on to that one bar, wasn't he? Hands hardly moving at all there. Hips really high. Keeping those arms straight. Look at that concentration. And a good dismount too. So 11.350, obviously those scores affected by the fact that he came off the parallel bars, but still fantastic to see him in these finals. So just while we await the score of Sergei Eltkov from Russia. And then after that, we will be going to the award ceremony. He looks happy. He will be back for the high bar, just the women's floor exercise in between. And then he'll have to do it all over again. 
get himself psyched up and prepared, mentally prepared for a new apparatus. Really is exhausting for these gymnasts to have so many finals in one day, but at least they're not doing an all around as well. Exhausting for the judges as well, I think, for doing a fantastic job here at Varna. Known for its beautiful beaches and cosmopolitan lifestyle. And this palace of culture and sports, what a lovely venue it's been for this World Challenge Cup. As we just await the final scores here for Serge. 14.950. Well, I knew it was going to be good, but that really is sensational. Congratulations to him. So um, final rankings as we await the confirmation. No doubt about it, Ilya Kovtun first, 15.100 taking the gold, silver, Serge Eltkov, 14.950. And then just looking down my paperwork, I make it Robert Tvergel taking the bronze, 14.350. And there we have the confirmation on your screen. What a fabulous parallel bars competition has it has been really was a world-class standard 15.100 Ilya Kovtun he really has been sensational at these uh, championships an amazing athlete for somebody that is so young as well But Sergio Eltkov, well, he really pushed him, didn't he? 14.950, not too far behind. But all getting fantastic experience here at this Challenge Cup. So as the athletes line up and wait before the award ceremony is announced. Ilya Kovtun taking his second gold, having won gold in the pommel horse yesterday. He really does go for difficulty but he has got the execution to match as well. And that is what you need. No point in going with difficulty if you can't actually execute it well, but he really does have both. Ladies and gentlemen, the awarding ceremony for parallel bars begins. Please get ready for the march in. Третто място и бронзов медал за представителя на Литва Робърт Твургал. Third place and bronze medal Robert Twurgal, Lithuania. Второ място и сребърен медал за представителя на Русия Сергей Елцов. Second place and silver medal for Sergey Elsov, Russia. И първо място и златен медал за представителя на Украина Илия Ковтун. First place and gold medal for Ilya Kovtun, Ukraine. Please stand up for the national anthem of Ukraine. Третто място награждава Тодор Тодоров, президент на Българския комитетски комитет мъже. The third place is awarded by Tonis Todorov, president of the Bulgarian So Robert Trollagel from Lithuania taking 
the bronze, Sergei Eltkov from Russia, the silver, Ilya Kovtun, the gold. The first place will be awarded by Julio Marcos, FIG Men's Artistic Gymnastics Technical Delegate. Now, please stand up for the national anthem of Ukraine. So a very big congratulations to Ilya Kuftun from Ukraine taking his second gold at this World Challenge Cup. So next we're going to be moving on to the floor for women. So the athletes will be introduced shortly before they have their warm-up. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to see Onzin Achampong, Great Britain. Diana Varinska, Ukraine. Gildora Aripova, Uzbekistan. Ulyana Peribunosova, Russia. Hanna Suyo, Hungary. Rivda Ivanovsky, Indonesia. Anna Derek, Croatia. <laughs> 